Hi guys, this is Mia from Mimo Design Laser Files. Today I got a request for a resizement of this cat box. I sell a ton of boxes and stuff like that on my Etsy shop and also our own website. And I usually get a few requests on resizing these boxes. This one I am going to resize, but I wanted to show you how so you can learn to do this on your own. I am in Lightburn where I opened up my own SVG. As you can see, I usually include the slot tester, which you will print, and then you can take this little handle part, push it inside these holes and see what uh, size of material that is a good fit for you. Some of my boxes, like this cat box as example, I only have for 1 4 inch, 6 mm and 10 mm material because it is a box that needs a certain stability for a cat to lay in it. But this customer requested me to make it my 5 point two millimeter version so I'll show you exactly why how sorry um so let's move this down so I can get enough space to add a new version so I will move this down and I will duplicate this part so I'll just right click and choose duplicate I'll just move it up so this file will, from now on, have all three sizes included. I might just move this down a little. So this one up here is still 6.25 millimeters or 1.4 inch. An easy way to check it is to mark one of the slots and look up here. So the slots are really easy to change. You just mark them all and instead of 6.25, I will type in 5.32. The same over here, 5.32. And I want to do the same for the bottom, but since I also have a bottom on this, um, short side, I'll mark both. So 5.32, and this is of course in the height instead of the width. So that's the slots. For the tabs, that's really easy as well. You just mark if this was grouped, make sure you ungroup it, and then you just mark this hour frame. Then you go to tools and resize slots in selection. I know that the old material was 6.25 and I want it to be 5.32. It is the um, tab height that I want to change. So after I change it to tab height, you can see that it's illustrated that it will take off material in this direction, which is exactly what I want. So I'll just hit OK. I can now go down to the next side here. And it's already pre-inset with the numbers that I gave. I'll choose tap height, hit OK. Now I want to do the same on the bottom. So I'll mark the bottom. Hit resize slots in selection. Again, it's the tab height, like this. So now it is 5.32. One important thing that you must know is that because I have these inner slots, my sides will snap on to the tabs. But because I resize them, if I grab my bottom now, I'll just hit copy paste. I can align it to the bottom here. 
Wiesen and bottom. And you can see that it will slide precisely into this bottom uh, slot, but these are sticking out from the side. I can mark my bottom with red, so it's a little easier for you to see what is what. So the easy way to fix this is to mark your slots on one side, and then you hold down control and mark the bottom, go up and align right. You do the same on the opposite side, hold down control, mark your bottom and align lift. This one you want to, I don't want to duplicate it, I'll actually just move it down here. So I will make sure that this is V-centered and aligned to the bottom here. And you do see the same issue over here. So let's align right. And align left. And I can now delete this button. If you want to be 100% sure that your sides will also snap. You could, I'll just group, group it before I do anything. I could take this one and align right, and I'll be able to see if it matches these slots as well as the bottom. So now I know that everything is perfectly aligned and I can just go ahead and send this to my laser. So that's really it, you guys. It's really easy to do. If you like this video, please give it a like. Also, if you want more details and help with Lightburn or anything else, please drop a comment below and ask me your questions. I am always happy to make more videos and show you different things. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.